grade 10s, um, mm -hmm. we are having a lesson here, addition and subtraction of exponents with variables. Right? When you are adding uh, exponents, you will see, you will have, will either have a plus or minus. Number one, you can't cancel. It means you have terms. So if you have terms, you can't cancel. Right? So we're going to write each base as a prime factor. You can use a calculator to do that. You, we're going to reverse law one, take out a common factor, and then we simplify. So let's start with the first one. We're going to write each base as a prime factor. Four is two to the power two. Three is a prime factor. So we're not going to change. Minus nine is three to the power two. Three is three to the power two x minus two. Divided by three to the power two x minus three to the power two x minus one. Right, we've done the first part. The second part, we're gonna reverse law one. Law one says if bases are the same, we take the same base and add the exponents. So we're gonna reverse that. Instead of having one base, we're gonna have two bases for each one. So this one is two to the power two. Then we have three to the power two x minus three to the power two. Now this one, we're gonna have three to the power two x times three to the power minus two. We are reversing the one. Three to the power two x minus three to the power two x times three to the power minus one. Right? After that, you take out the common factor. When you look at this term, this is common with that in the next term. So our common factor will be 3 to the power 2x. With the first term, we have 2 to the power 2 left. Minus with this term, we have 3 to the power 2 and 3 to the power minus 2. With a denominator, we have common factor 3 to the power 2x. With the first term, we don't have anything, so we're going to multiply it with a 1. Please, grade tens, don't forget to write that 1. Because if it's not there, that term is going to disappear. Minus, that's a common factor that you took out, so I left it 3 to the power minus 1. Now, we have brackets. Now we can cancel. So we can cancel that mm -hmm. and that. And let's go to this side of the board. With a numerator, we'll be left with 2 to the power 2, which is 4, minus this 2, 3 to the power 2, and 3 to the power minus 2 will give us a 0. We'll get 3 to the power 0, which is 1, divided by, with a numerator, we have a 1 minus a third, because we have 3 to the power minus 1, right? You can take it, this one will be a 3 divided by 1 minus a third. 1 is 3 over 3 minus a third. We get 2 over 3. So we get 3 multiplied by divide, change to multiply, swap the fraction around 3 over 2. Then we get 9 over 2. Now this part that I've done here, you get 1 mark for. So if you're not good, instead of wasting time in an exam, Punch that in your calculator and get an answer. You're going to lose one mark. Okay. We are done with example one. I'm going to do example two for you. But before you, you look at the procedure that I've done example two, I want you to pause the video and write the example two first and look at the video after. Let's, let's look at example two. Okay. Here's our example two. With example two, pause the video. Try out example two and then watch the video after. When you look at the first term, it's a prime number, a prime number, a prime number, a prime number, a prime number. So we don't have to do number one and um, write them as products of prime numbers because they are all prime numbers. We have to do number two, reverse law one. So the first one, we have five to the power x times five to the power minus one times 11 plus five to the power x times 5 to the power 1 divided by 5 to the power x plus 5 to the power x times 5 to the power minus 1. Then we do the third one, take out the common factor. 
The common factor on the top part is, is 5 to the power x. Then for the first term, we are left with 5 to the power minus 1 times 11 plus 5 divided by 5 to the power x. And then we have 1 because 5 times 1 will give you 5 to the power x. Then for the next term, is 5 to the power minus 1. Now uh, that will cancel that, and then I'll be left with 5 to the power minus 1 will give me 1 over 5. So I have 11 over 5. That multiplied by that plus 5. Everything divided by 1 plus 1 over 5. Right. When you get to this, you can take your calculator and punch it and get the answer. But you're going to work it out. 11 over 5 plus 25 over 5 divided by 5 over 5, which is 1, plus 1 over 5. 11 over 5 is 36 over 5. Let's divide. Let's divide by 6 over then we have 36 over 5 times, when we change the divide to a times, we swap the fraction around. Then the 5, we cancel the 5, the six, and then we we'll answer the 6. This is the end of our lesson. But you don't have to do all of that. You can just take that, take your calculator, and be willing to lose one mark, and punch it in and get the answer. Thank you for watching. This is the end of our lesson.